Evening, everyone. So, um, I just moved to Fargo uh, just in August recently. I came here to uh, get my PhD in rhetoric, writing, and culture at NDSU. Now, when you... Yeah. <laughs> we get rhetoric hardcore. So... <laughs> Anyway, so so when you probably think of the you know PhD people, academics, you probably get you know these like high-minded types. So, um, what kind of bars would you imagine you know hmm, that a PhD person who studies the classics, Aristotle, you know, scholars? What what bars or places come to mind? At least now, probably like Hodo. Hmm, yeah, other places like that. So um, I said, not knowing any better, screw that. I'm going to the Nestor my first night. Yeah. I found out there was a band playing that they recommended called Pistory. See, it's clever because it combines the word piss and history. I don't know if you get it. So anyway, I go there. Uh, realized things were going to be kind of off first. Um, so I, I lived in New Mexico before this. Uh, a couple times, uh, or excuse me, for a couple years. And one of the things that, also I grew up in the Bay Area. And so one of the things is I'm not used to having a lot of other white people around me. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, it's really kind of just this like, oh wow, there are a lot of white people here. <laughs> so one thing that happens when I get in there, I'm getting ID checked and the person just goes, is this really you? I go, yeah, and then she just asks, which one of your parents is black? <laughs> I go, <"N> neither. <laughs> Again, and she goes, well, you look really black in your ID photo. Go, okay, but that's not true. And she's like, My. so I figure I'm like, man, are people that white here that they think I'm, you know, I was like, look at that tan guy over there. That's just the start of how things are going this night. So I go there. I'm just. I finally. The one of the other bouncers is like, no, nah, I'm. Sh that's him. Believe it or not. <laughs> Let's just get him over here. Um, so I'm just sitting there, and I hear a commotion. And I guess one of the other. Apparently, had three bouncers working that night. It was really weird. If he looked like the grown-up version of Cartman from uh, South Park. <laughs> And he's ranting and raving about something, about how he's going to get fired from his job, his other job just for showing up drunk a couple of times. <laughs> and, so I couldn't help but stare. And then, just a little bit, I've seen way worse. Um, you, know, girl, you know, yeah, believe me, way worse, but... It's, he's just rant, ranting about his other job, and all of a sudden he sees... You see this, like, his eyes just all of a sudden go like this. And he sees in the corner of the nester, on the opposite side of the bar where I'm sitting, sees these two women sitting next to a, another dude. And he just goes, what y'all doing here? <laughs> and they go, shut up, Bobby. <laughs> We're free to come here still if we want. Turns out he goes up there and confronts them. He dated both of them. Their mother and daughter. <laughs> now. <laughs> also, if you've never been to the Nestor, I always just think of it. I'm a big Charles Bukowski fan. I think it's his wet dream, that bar. It's like surly women, cheap liquor, cheap booze, bathroom that, you know, I don't even know how to describe that bathroom other than you'll want to puke whether you've been drinking or not. <laughs> it's that bad. Um, and I've been to, I mean, there's dives and then there's the nester. So, anyway, I you know, see the show. It's pretty good so far. Pistory, pretty good band. Um, I forgot who the other two bands were. They were from Chicago, but they were pretty good. Um, so I'm going back. I'm having my last drink. A Cartman dude comes over to me and just goes, Hey, buddy, did I ever tell you that you look like Bill Gates? I say it. No, but that's a good one, but yeah, no, you've never told me that. He goes, yeah, well, you do. What should I do about my ex-girlfriends over there? 
You think they're cute? I got, uh, yeah, they're, that's, they're nice. One of them likes your glasses. You ought to let her try them on. Somehow. If you promise not to break them, that's fine. So then the older one, the mother, just goes, Bobby, leave him the hell alone. <laughs> she comes over, says, you know, is he bothering you? <laughs> oh, it's fine. She goes, I really like your glasses. <laughs> Puts them on. Doesn't break them. You know, no, no more uh, nerd jokes, things like that. I go home. Not too bad. I figure, well, good first night in Fargo. <laughs> now, I thought that'd be the weirdest thing I'd see, I'd, I'd see out here. So I figured, hey, everything's got to be coming up roses from here on out. And for the most part, it did. Every other bar, you know, people are like, Dempsey's, that place is a dump. I'm like, eh. They, I don't have a problem going to the bathroom, and I never saw a guy try to fight two of his girlfriends. <laughs> so I think Dempsey's is a pretty all right place. But anyway, so then uh, just a few weeks ago, I was out uh, with my buddy Justin, who works with me at the program. You might know him by his hip-hop name, Stick Figure bio Autobiography. Check it out. <laughs> anyway, we're hanging out with him at Demp I'm hanging out with him at Dempsey's, and we decided to walk over to the Empire. So he'd been outside smoking. So we take the alleyway, and we're a couple of music dorks. So we're just like, you know, oh yeah, no, the, he no, that album was released in 1988. It's like you idiots. It's like, oh yeah, you're right. That type of you know, just phew, everyone else would probably want to shoot themselves in the head listening to us talk. Anyway, so I say something along the lines of. Oh, that's what that is, or that's what that was. And we just hear this lady about, probably the distance from here to the exit sign, just go, yeah, that's right, it's me pissing in the alley. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're so good, don't you? And <laughs> me and Justin are just like, oh, hello. And she comes up, pulls her drawers up, you know. Yeah, I got kicked out of Dempsey's. I had nowhere else to go. So, yeah, sue me, judge me, do whatever you want. <laughs> and her friend is just sort of sitting next to her, it's not sitting, standing above her, just, one, I'm thinking, what kind of friend is just standing next, you know, try to cover her up, you know, try to <laughs> use your jacket, you know, shield her from what's going on. Nope, nope, just going to stand here. It's like, probably wonder what she's doing, huh? She's taking a piss. <laughs> so, um, she starts following me and Justin. <laughs> so, so you guys think you're so much better, huh? Because you don't piss in the streets? <laughs> Justin, because he's too nice, apparently, and uh, or at least nicer than me, starts trying to talk to her. Like, actually, ma'am, you know, uh, we didn't even notice you <laughs> until you brought it up. I'm just, I'm like, shut the hell up. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> she keeps yelling at us, like, you know, oh, you guys think you're so cool, so much better than me, da da da. And so we eventually outrun her. We sneak into, uh, I don't remember how exactly we snuck into the Empire without her following us, but. We make it in there. We, uh, I just sort of chuckle to myself because uh, Justin goes, "That's got to be the weirdest thing you've seen, huh?" I said, "Well, that or you know, my first night at the Nestor." <laughs> and he just looks. He goes, "What the hell were you doing at the Nestor?" I was like, "Oh well, you know, want to go see a band there." He goes, "What band could you possibly want to see there?" And I said, "This is the perfect." <laughs> You can't make this up. I just said, said, guess what? I said, guess. And he goes, who? I just said, pistory. <laughs> and there he goes. Everything's full circle. <laughs> and that's when I realized, that's when I knew. I was like, Fargo is actually a pretty awesome place for me to be right now. So thank you.